This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover the Thing Factory. This is part two of a two-part series talking about the assault map called Frigate and the ending sequence. And in the ending sequence, there are these turrets here that fire rockets and they travel across the map and they destroy these doors over here. In the first part of the video, I've already covered these two movers, which are called gradual movers. So in this video, I want to cover the Thing Factory. So if you recall from the first part, there is a dispatcher. And if you look at the dispatcher events, there are these two events called Rocket 1 and Rocket 2. And they correspond to these spawn points right here. So you see there's Rocket 2, and over here you have Rocket 1. So a couple things that I need to point out. First of all, how you get the spawn point is by going to the Actor Browser. And under Navigation Point, you will select Spawn Point. These are specifically to be used for the Thing Factory and the Creature Factory and not to be used for player starts. The next thing you should know about these spawn points is that they have a direction. So when you put these into your map, you must set the direction to where you want the things to go. So in this case, the things are warhead launchers. So as you, as you recall, the tag is called Rocket 1, Rocket 2, and they match the tags of these thing factories. So there you see them there. And what you do is you open up in the properties, you open up thing factory, and here under prototype, you have to click on the three dots, and here you can choose any type of thing that you want to launch from your thing factory. So in this particular case, you have a whole class here called projectile, and you can choose any of these, and so have fun experimenting with that. So in the frigate map, it is a war shell, which is actually the rocket from the Redeemer. So you come into projectile, and you will see it here the war shell. So that's what they use for the map. But you can choose any of these projectiles if you want to. So let's take a look at the properties. Covert doesn't apply here. I keep this false and what false means is that the projectile is not affected by gravity and doesn't go downwards. So in this particular case you want the warheads to shoot straight and so you put this to false. The next thing is again not applicable here is only player touch so put that to false as well really the only thing you should be concerned about is the capacity which is how many copies of the thing you want to make uh, as a capacity maximum the interval in seconds and then how many of them you're going to make in total so in this particular case you're only going to make one total so you set one and one here, and then here you have the Redeemer Warhead. So let's take a look at a sample map so you can see a couple of different variations of this. In my map, I've created two small rooms, one over here, one over here. And I've created these triggers. So these are just basically triggers, which I set to shootable and then each one has an event and the event is one of those spawn points which is the same tag as the thing factory so the first one here links to these two spawn points because what I want to show you here is that you could actually have multiple spawn points as long as they have the same tag so if I click on that you can see they all say rocket one as long as they have the same tag they can be generating things from this particular thing factory which has the same tag. 
Here in this particular case, under prototype, I chose the UT rocket instead of the warhead. So we'll take a look at that as well. And I've made a maximum of eight items. So that means that when I shoot the trigger, there's going to be eight of those rockets coming from these two points. And the interval is one second. So there's going to be eight of these rockets coming one second apart. Then the next shootable trigger I put over here. I just call this thing one. And again, shootable. And this corresponds with these two, this spawn point and this thing factory. And for this thing factory, I chose a different prototype. I chose the UT bio rifle glob thing. So you can take a look at that. But there's many things you can choose from. And here I only did five of them. So it's going to shoot it out five times at an interval of one second. The last trigger, which is this one over here, this one is linking to the creature factory that I put into the other room. So here it's called Scar 1. That's the name of the, the event here. And so here you're going to have a spawn point with the matching tag as well and a direction. So I'll just show you the direction that it's pointing at. It's pointing this direction. And here is the creature factory. And let me show you how to get to the creature factory. You go to actor key point. And here you'll find the thing factory. And then if you click on the plus sign, you'll see the creature factory. So you can see how they behave very similarly. The thing about the creature factory, because in this case, you're going to get a creature. So I'm going to click on the three dots. And instead, you're going to come to pawn instead of projectile. And you got a whole bunch of things to choose from. So I picked a scripted pawn because then it's going to have some behaviors. So pawn, scripted pawn, scar, and I think I took the Lord, so he's pretty kick-ass. And so that is the creature that's going to be generated by this creature factory. Here I did a capacity of one and a maximum of one because I don't want too many of them. But here now you have another property called creature factory. And here you see you can set the orders. Now, I don't know the full list of them. So you'll need to sort of dig into the Unreal script to see what the other options are. This one is going to be attacking me, but there's one called neutral, there's one called friendly, and I'm sure there's some other types of orders as well. And here there's something about adding extra copies for co-op. And so I guess you'd have to be in some sort of a co-op game to be able to trigger this and get more copies of that. And that's all you need. So the event is SCAR1, which matches this spawn point which matches this trigger over here so let's take a look at this in the game here's the first trigger which will sh trigger the rockets and that was eight of them the next trigger is up here and that's for the bio rifle globs And the final trigger is this one, which is for the scar. So just to conclude the series on the assault map frigate, these are the spawn points. They have a direction, so you need to set that. They must be linked to thing factories and the thing factories can be located anywhere and they all have to share the same tag in this particular case the thing factories are shooting out redeemer rockets which travel in this direction in a straight line then they come here and then the dispatcher will trigger these doors to explode with these breaking chunks as well called exploding wall and how you get to the exploding wall is by clicking on actor effects exploding wall and which is covered in a previous tutorial called breaking glass 
So have fun experimenting with the Thing Factory and the Creature Factory. Most likely you'll be using them in some sort of a single player type game, but there's probably opportunities to use them in, in multiplayer as well.